we're here in Long Beach, California at the Ship of Gold exhibit. You were the chief scientist involved with the project. What is it like to come back again after all these years and see the ship, the gold, and talk to the people involved? It is always so exciting to bring this exhibit to the public. Um, as you can see behind me, it is it is a uh, like a stage set, like a uh, like a depiction of the ship itself, with portholes for the display cases, where people can walk up and look into the portholes of the ship and see treasure in front of their eyes. And it's it's wonderful. They have over ten million dollars worth of of gold ingots and coins and. A wonderful California gold nugget that's a piece of the mother load is on display here um, today at, at Long Beach and this week and uh, it's just it's wonderful I love talking to the people and hearing about their stories about the treasure and what it means to them uh, it's it's always a great thrill to me to be able to share this story how did it change your life being involved with the Central America well this this really, this shipwreck and its story have been part of the last 30 years of my life. And so since I'm 59, it's half of my life. Uh, this is the, the defining professional activity of my life. Um, really, I, I, I never tire of it uh, because I'm interested in both the science and the history uh, I have so many different subjects and so many different areas that I've been involved in with it. Everything from the actual studying of the depositional environment of the shipwreck, being the mission coordinator on board the ship that, uh, that found the, the treasure, um, cataloging and curating and conserving the material as it was brought up and then as it progressed toward market and then being the principal spokesperson for it for the last dozen years or so to, uh, to tell these stories to the public, it's, it's been wonderful. What is it about treasure that fascinates people so much? I think treasure is an iconic childhood dream. Uh, we, we learn about it as children. It's one of the kinds of things they tell you about stories about you know, wonderful treasures that have been found and stuff like that and it sticks with people. Treasure stories are magic. They are the kinds of things that, that you dream about as children. And then for us to, you know, for the people that were on this expedition with me and for me, to get to actually achieve that and find a great treasure is, is just a wonderful fulfillment of a childhood dream. Mm -hmm.